Hey there, this is Justin from MakeUseOf.com, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Google Nexus 6P. The Nexus 6P is one of two new Nexus devices from Google. The other is the Nexus 5X, but the 6P is considered the more premium of the two, and that shows. It's built by Huawei, a relatively unknown company in the US, but it certainly has the high-end feel of any of the brands we know and love. Out of the box, it comes with a USB Type-C cable that replaces the old micro USB. That does mean your old cables won't work for charging it, but it does future-proof you as we start to transition into Type-C. It also comes with a Type-C to regular USB cable for connecting to your computer though, as well as a cheap pair of headphones. The phone itself is massive. It has a 5.7 inch screen, and even if you've got pretty big hands, it's going to be a challenge to use this thing one-handed. It has a very nice metal backing, but that metal is extremely slick and makes the device feel like it's always about to slip out of your hand. On the front, you'll find dual front-facing speakers that are extremely loud and are really a pleasure to listen to. The rear-facing camera is 12 megapixels, while the front-facing camera is 5 megapixels, and I found both of them took pretty good photos. The fingerprint scanner on the back is extremely easy to use and super quick. You don't even have to unlock the screen to use it. When holding the phone, this is a super useful feature, but when the phone is lying down on the table, it's pretty useless since you can't reach the scanner. Inside, the software is Android 6.0 Marshmallow, and the great thing about owning a Nexus device is that you always get updates right away, and there's no bloatware. You can also easily root and tinker with this device if you want to. You also won't run into performance problems here with the Snapdragon 810 and 3GB of RAM. Battery life, I'd say, was above average thanks to the 3450mAh battery packed into the 6P. At $500 for the cheapest 32GB option, the Nexus 6P isn't exactly the cheapest phone out there, but it's still priced reasonably lower than other high-end smartphones. Overall, I really enjoyed this phone, but I think whether you like it or not may come down simply to if you're okay using such a huge phablet device. Be sure to head on over to MakeUseOf.com to read the full review and enter for your chance to win the Nexus 6P.